What is up, guys? Long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about Openbox. It's old. It's been around since 2002. It's pretty cool. Look at this website. This is their website. It looks literally like it's from 2002, right? Uh, is there a way? We got a Wikipedia right here. Look at that. It's a stacking window manager, technically. Um, based on Blackbox, which is like some old stuff that people used to use that was decent. Um, it's, like I said, it's floating. Uh, you know, they got a lot of like gooey tools and stuff involved but what i find happens is let's say you go to write from uh you know the 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 stupid program or whatever it's gonna just collapse everything back together so if you spaced stuff out it's probably not good to use the gooey tool because yeah uh problem being is we'll dive in the configuration in a second but it works off of like an auto start and then a config file. So you have, and then menus. If you're going to use menus, I'm not using menus. I'll show you. Here's the menu right here. I haven't figured out a cool way to get rid of this. Um, I, you know, I don't use them. And uh, yeah. So yeah, all open box. It's an XML file. It's crazy busy. Let's go look at it. All right. So as we jump into the file, as you can see, there's lots of you know, greater than, less than, bracket stuff, right? Lots and lots and lots and lots of it. And if you didn't know, right here, if you look how this slashes, that that's the closing of the, the, you know, code snippet or whatever that allows you. Like, for instance, this sends me to desktop six, right? So the keybind starts here and ends here. So yeah, it's a little messy, like kind of digging into it. It's, you know... I have a bunch of custom ones and stuff that I added down here, you know, like obviously for graphic file manager, you know, I have Yazi open up. I could just be like, boom, just like all my normal stuff, blah, blah, blah. These are the key binds. These are the mouse binds. You can do a bunch of different stuff with the mouse. Um, I found the, my, the mouse stuff to be kind of annoying. Um, I'm probably going to delete a lot of this once I dig through it. The thing about it is I originally tried open box with the GUI tools and I just I could not get it to work right I could not get it to look good um and then it was floating on top of that so I kind of just gave it up this was like years ago right and uh then I start looking into stuff and obviously as you know for like most desktop environments nowadays except for cinnamon which technically what I'm about to talk about works on cinnamon but it, it doesn't draw the windows right like it only really draws terminal windows correctly you know what I mean any any other kind of GUI application that you try to launch it's just not going to tile right so unfortunately we don't have tiling for cinnamon if we do ever get tiling for cinnamon you know your boy is going to do like a whole series of videos on that and yeah because I could do like 80 million different rices with cinnamon it's Cinnamon for all of the desktop environments, even in comparison to Cosmic is the most, you know, and honestly, Openbox too, like Openbox and Cinnamon are kind of, I'm not going to say they're similar, they're two completely different things, but they have as much going on with the customization as you could possibly get. So like normally when you see Openbox, I'll talk about this for a minute. Um, your panel, it's going to be like they have their own panel, like OB panel or something like that, right? It's ugly. Then other people use like Tint 2. Tint 2 is ugly. And, and the theming, the way the theming is laid out is it's very dated. You know, it's very 2005, you know. So what I'm using here is going to be Polybar. It's a real basic configuration of Polybar. I'm not, there's no any special modules you need. You can just use X workspaces. You can use the x window title or x window or whatever and it all works perfectly fine um yeah and then so like with the wallpapers i'm just using variety you know what i mean i'm just using the normal variety thing i do and i get the different papers you know we we just got a whole bunch of bunch of papers i got a little menu i made that i could makes me switch um <clears throat> yeah so yeah this is generally what it looks like um what was I going to say? There's something else about this 
I want to say before I get into quartile. Quartile is the next subject. Okay, shift G. If we go all the way to the bottom, as you can see, these last few lines right here to here. Application class star uh, asterisk means any. Decor, no. And that takes the window decorations off. As you notice, I don't have any of the, like, X thingy. If I do one of these, you know, oop, my theme changed back. That's a little awkward. I'll fix that later. Anyway, uh, so you want to have this, these few lines right here, and that gets rid of the window app, uh, the window decorations. Or, okay, okay. Core tile. So core tile is what's managing the tiling on here. Um, mine's like, I don't know, I forget, what is it? Which, which one, which one fixes the, the windows here? Maybe if I do all, okay, here. Anyway, you see, we have the normal ones. It'll remember where which direction you're going in, uh, you know, and which one you're not. If I think if I hover over here, uh, that just went weird. Anyway, it handles the tiling pretty nicely. Oh, I actually need that. Uh, and I haven't really messed with the config too much, only because it seemed like there was some sensible sensible defaults in here. So I kind of just kept it, and it's worked great, you know. Um, you can have like a little uh border thing. But I find that to be kind of pointless because I alt tab more than anything else. Uh, even like moving back back and forth window to window, and the way the alt tab works is it does this. So it gives you like a little window list, and you can be like, oh here, and then oh let's say I open this one, you know, so on and so forth. Makes it very simple. I do also have a little script like this, so I can just kind of see what windows I have open and I can jump to whatever, right? Very cool, very, very cool. Overall, um, I've been really liking OpenBox. I think of all of the X11 kind of window managers that exist in the world, it's probably one of the most polished in the sense of, like, there's no bugs. There's no, oh, this isn't even tiling right, or this window isn't isn't popping open right. I can, you know, I can even go into floating mode, and if I, wait, I forget which one is alt, right? So then I have this, and, you know, it works pretty good. Um, I don't have any issues with Pycom. I don't have any issues with basically anything running on this. It's pretty compatible. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty compatible. And it's relatively simple to get set up and going right but when it i wonder if i can um we're gonna go look to see if there's like a okay this is kind of this gives you an idea of how it kind of looks out of the box you have the weird window decorations and stuff um let's see can we just look at images like this i want to see somebody with the panel so i can get like a better This actually looks very stereotypical to like what I would think of open box like back in the day. Um, you know, your panels, you got your conkies and all that. Back when conky was still popular, conky is not as popular anymore. Unless you're DistroTube, that guy loves conky. I think it's ugly, but to each their own, you know. He's probably likes it because of nostalgia purposes, which I you know, I get. But yeah, I feel like it's it's definitely wide open. It has a lot of potential to do like a lot of cool things. See, this is clean. This looks clean. I mean, I wouldn't have all this stuff up in the top, but like, dude, why not? This looks good. You know. Anyway, that's my video. I enjoy it. Uh, I, I recommend if if you're already a person that has riced a lot of different stuff and you're looking for something to give you like a little brain twister. Um, this is a good one, you know, uh, figuring out most, I mean, mo it mostly works just like any other window manager that you would use. So, you know, LX appearance, um, you know, your different bars, all your X11 bars are going to work. Um, you shouldn't have any issues with it drawing wrong. I just, I know I didn't walk into any where like there was windows above the bar or anything like it's on the right layer. Uh, yeah. Open box. Let's go. Anyways, if you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. I really appreciate you watching. And uh, I hope you guys have a nice, a nice night. Peace out, dudes. Let's go.